I never thought that we would ever shoot a vlog in this part of Durban. Oh, hi. We spend so much more time here than we should have. In this video, we are going to show you what to do in Durban North. If you're a local, you'll know all of the spots that we're going to show you. But if you're a holiday maker, then this video might be for you. You might have your favorite things to do in Durban, places you always go to. But if there's a day with bad weather, then we suggest you stick around and check out our suggestions of things to do in Durban North. Today we are in Durban North, which is literally a stone throw away from Durban, just over the Mgeni River. We're exploring different things to do in Durban North. To be honest, I never thought we would ever come and do a vlog in Durban North. But as we keep asking in our videos for suggestions to do, somebody actually said that, please can we come do a video in Durban North? And we were like, <laughs> Durban North? What are we actually going to film when we get there? And when we sat and wrote down everything that you can do here we actually don't think we'll fit everything into one video when you think of coastal kzn you think of the big coastal cities which is durban umschlange belito or the south coast yeah but no one ever comes to durban north on holiday it's very much a local spot but should tourists come and visit durban north hmm. Well, you'll have to stay till the end of the video to see what we actually suggest. So let's go check it out, guys. Our first stop here in Durban North was actually Wicked Donuts because we haven't eaten anything yet. And as you guys know, coffee always comes first. So we have a little cappuccino from Wicked Donuts and we decided to grab some breakfast there. Not the healthiest, obviously, but who can say no to that deliciousness? So the one is filled with custard, the other one is filled with chocolates. I'm going with the heart. It's full with chocolates. That is delicious, so fresh. Not the healthiest for breakfast, but I think we're going to walk it off later. Okay, so I'm going to have the other one, which is the custard filled donut. Mm. Let me try. <laughs> oh yeah. That's good. Mm. Nothing like custard. The custard one is definitely my favorite. Our first stop is the Japanese gardens. It is a beautiful place where you can come picnic with your family. There's lots of Japanese flora. It's very well known for its different types of bird life. There's lots of little bridges and water features and it's free. So it's nice to come on a Sunday like it is today. There's hardly any people here. If you decide to come to the Japanese gardens, we suggest you bring a picnic basket, you can bring your children because there's a nice play area here and you can just have a nice chill time. The bathrooms are really nice, there's lots of places to walk around, you can look at the birds, chill by the bridges, there's a lot of running water, water features, there's a ton of benches to sit on and yeah, it's a perfect place and it's free. We said that already but it's free. This place is so pretty and we spend so much more time here than we should have. Yeah. <laughs> We so, didn't. I haven't actually been here before and I've run and cycled past this place so many times. So it's nice coming inside and realizing how amazing it is. It's yeah. really cool. Yeah. So now, I don't know where we're going to go now. We are going to get in our car and you guys are going to be as surprised as us where we're going next. <laughs> yeah, let's do it. <laughs> See you there, wherever it is. 
This is the reason that we have asked you guys to let us know where you want us to come and make a video. It's so that you guys can see how things have changed. This used to be Pop's restaurant here at the Riverside Hotel and it's changed. It's the crowbar now. Who knows what else has changed in Durban North since we last hung out here. So let's go check it out. This is really weird because we used to come to Hops and watch lots of sports games here. And sure, we haven't been this side of the world for like over a year. And I also think that lockdown had such a bad impact on a lot of businesses. Even driving through Durban North, we saw a lot of restaurants, a lot of our favorites not there anymore. So we hope you enjoy this journey through Durban North with us um, and also discovering all the changes. From here you can see the Mgeni River which is flowing behind me. So you actually have Durban North on this side and then Durban is over there just on the other side of the river. And you can see Moses Mavita Stadium right there. That was quite cool going to a place that we used to hang out a lot. And now we are probably going down to the beach with mangroves and we'll see you guys there. So we did a drive by the Beechwood Mangroves, which is in here, and it's only open every third Saturday of the month. We'll definitely have to come back here. And we never knew it was right here. It's this little side road next to the highway. In Durban North there's actually a few roads full of restaurants. We are in one of them right now. It used to be called Broadway, um, Swapo Road. There was a lot of restaurants going up this road. You can, have, you can choose between many different places to have food. This is one of the other streets in Durban North filled with restaurants. It's called McEwerton Avenue. Driving down this street we realized that a lot of our favorite restaurants are actually not here anymore. There used to be a really cool Irish pub there and it's changed names now. Um, this used to be a very cool Greek restaurant. I don't know if it changed venues but this whole place is standing empty. Julia's is still there. There's really good food there. <laughs> so it's lunchtime and we need to decide where we are going to eat. But with so many new places we, we don't know where. So keep watching to find out where we go. <laughs> There are quite a few restaurants up on the ridge. We have never been there before, but we thought we'd just drive past and show you guys. I'm pretty sure the views from up here is pretty amazing, but we actually have another spot in mind. So. My favorite spot. Let's go. <laughs> We've come for lunch to Mama Luigiani's, which is an Italian restaurant with a nice sea view. It also overlooks the close to the airport to Virginia Airport, so you can see the airplanes landing and taking off. We are here at Mama Luigiani's. It's in the Glenmore Centre in Glen Ashley. And next door there's actually Jack Salmon's Fish House, I think. And it's one of the first places that Craig brought me for a date. We had amazing sushi there. But the weather isn't playing along today. It's been overcast and windy all day. And we just ordered some lasagnas. Some hearty food for a coldish day. So we're pretty excited to finally eat. Our food arrived. 
This is such a big portion. I'm starving. I'm really looking forward to this. Mm. <coughs> Yummy lasagna. That is so tasty. This is actually exactly what I felt like having now. Wow, that was amazing. We've never eaten so quickly. We were really hungry and uh, now we're happy. I think having lasagna in a proper Italian restaurant is always good. Oh man, lunch was good. It was so good. I'm stuffed now. <laughs> So we had an awesome day in Durban North. We decided to go to the beach, which is across the road from Mama Luciana. The weather is not the greatest, but we live in Durban and you gotta to come to the beach when you're in Durban. The only issue with this beach is there's not lots of parking. So it's probably a beach you wanna come for a run or cycle to, then you can just walk on the beach a bit and go home. And if you're not from around town, a lot of these beaches that aren't close to the main beaches don't have lifeguards. They don't have any swimming areas. So it's more of a beach to come chill walk or play a bit of beach sport. So now you're wondering if we actually would recommend Durban North to holiday makers. And I say yes because <laughs> it is like the Durban away from Durban. It's close to Durban, it's for nice spots but it's not as busy as Durban in those peak seasons. I would recommend it if you're looking for some local spots yeah. and some really cool restaurants. And then obviously my top recommendation would be Umgeni River Bird Park and then Japanese Gardens is really nice and if you're here on the third Saturday of the month Beachwood Mangroves I would probably check out their Facebook page first to double check on the information Yeah. and there's so many restaurants to choose from Yeah. I don't know if we can even link all of them in this video but just do some research yeah. and you'll definitely find a spot that you would enjoy it's been fun it's been a good day out the weather wasn't kind to us this will probably happen on your holiday to durban yeah. <laughs> you'll definitely get some bad weather days so now you have some more options of what to do and if you have any spots that you would like for us to check out and go and vlog there please let us know in the comments below and if you're a local and you love durban or please tell us what your favorite spot is as well thank you guys so much for watching we'll see you next time bye <laughs> Honestly, I don't know why people feel the need to put their names on public property. It used to be hops and now... <laughs> okay, so we're right next to a main like uh, road. Okay, so we are at the Durban... Even on trees. Guys... I'm hangry. I'm trying to get Kisha, but I can go Watch it. Let's talk. What was I saying earlier? So poor Craig has got to deal with me being hangry. <laughs> Does that make sense? Yeah, it's perfect.